What exactly are the benefits to having a stroker in the first place? Well, I'll tell you. So excuse any, you know, nasally voice that I may have. I am sick as a dog. But I'm still going to tell you what's the benefits of having a stroker motor. Now in the last video I did, I was talking about how I'm planning on shoving this 351 Cleveland crank to this 302 block. Oh hey, cool. New guy's guitar sticker. That's the music you hear in the videos, by the way. So, my plan is to shove that Cleveland crank into here, because that will make a 351 stroker. Very old combination that really isn't around anymore since, you know, aftermarket crankshafts and the like are now readily available. But you know, I had gotten a few questions on what is even a stroker? And, you know, what are the benefits to having a stroked out motor? Well, mainly a stroker is taking out the old stock stroke of the crankshaft and replacing it with a longer one. Now the stroke of the crankshaft is this. It's the distance between the here and here. How far out is your rod? from the center of the crank. That's your stroke. The longer that is, the more swept area you'll get in your cylinder bore. A longer stroke will pull the piston down further in the bore, making more area in your actual cylinder, increasing the cubic inches. For example, that 302, put this in here, it turned into a 351. Now here's a few reasons why that would make power. Let's pretend your crankshaft is a bolt, and your stroke is like this, right? Well, you don't have quite as much torque, much action, pushing, rotating that crankshaft with this as you would have with a longer stroke. You see what I mean? The longer your stroke, the more torque you can apply, the more torque you have. The reason it would make more power is because you're pulling the piston down further in the bore, so you're drawing just that little bit more air, fuel mixture, into the cylinder, and then compressing it. Slightly higher dynamic compression ratio that way. But, like anything, there are some cons. For one thing, because you're having a greater distance for that piston to travel in the same amount of time, mind you, 8,000 RPM with a short stroke is the same as 8,000 RPM with a long stroke, the piston has to move faster in order to accomplish that. Well, the faster you move your piston up to a certain point, it will lower your potential RPM because, well, your piston can only move so fast before it destroys itself. And with gasoline engines, really, the first 15 degrees to 45 degrees is where all the power happens. Anything after 45 degrees, a lot of conventional V8s or, you know, home-built engines don't make any power there. The piston's just moving with momentum. So if the piston speeds away from that expanding charge, you don't get quite as much push on it. Another downside is generally with a long stroke, your pin gets pushed up into your oil uh, ring up there. So oiling can be kind of a, it can consume more oil. That was probably more of a concern back in the day than it is now. Technology's gone a long way in that regard, but it's still something to consider. But the piston is usually shorter, thus lighter, in a stroker application too. So do you want to build a stroker? Well, that depends on your application. If you're building a 9,000, you know, 10,000 RPM engine, maybe a shorter stroke would give, you know, your piston a little happier time going up and down the bore. You won't have to be moving so fast to do it. But if you're just looking for increased torque and increased power, the angularity, you know, the torque multiplier for having a longer stroke in your crank, that gives it to you. But, you know, you really got to build the engine depending on what it is you plan to do with it. In my case, that'll work just fine. Well, I hope that answered some of your questions out there. And, uh, by the way, Junkyard Necromancer, go check out his channel too. That's your sticker, bud. Uh, I haven't mailed it because, you know, it's not feeling good. But if you're interested in any of the music you hear in these videos, check out New Guy's Guitar.
Yeah, he's my brother. We do a live stream every other weekend ish so far. So come hang out with us on Saturday, seven o'clock at night. But I'm gonna go to bed. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>